out of timeouts. 47 seconds left. Ninth play of the drive. Walker oh. under pressure. Football is loose. That's a live football. And Indianapolis has it. Buckner. Illegal contact. Defense. Five yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Wow. That wipes away the turnover. Cleveland is right back in business. Unbelievable. This is what the officials were yeah. looking at. Baker against Cooper. Shane Steichen red hot. First and goal. Walker from the gun throws. Back of the end zone incomplete. Looking for Peoples Jones and another flag. Mm. Colts defenders arguing that it was not a catchable pass. It was again Baker on the coverage. Pass interference. Defense number 39. I don't I, this one, I don't like this one, Spiro. First down at the one yard line. I, there's no I don't like anything about that call because listen, they're they're hand fighting and that ball is that's nowhere. I know you rarely hear an official use the word uncatchable anymore, but like there's nobody, not even Calvin Johnson, going to catch that football. Yeah, well, now illegal contact. Remember, quarterback has to be in the pocket, which he is. Contact needs to be beyond five yards. Now, after he breaks from that route, the question is there, is that enough of redirecting or restriction? They did call illegal contact, so defensive holding there. There's not a lot of displacement on the play, but there is valid point to say, look, even though technical, they've got to call that. Now, as we move forward to pass interference or not, the tug happens early there. I think there's material effect. The catchability aspect, I don't disagree that they should have had maybe a further conversation on whether it's catchable or not. Usually uncatchable balls. The ball ends up in the stands or it's really, you know, an exaggerated throwaway. In this situation, it isn't that far off, but I still still don't think it's a catchable ball because of where the players are in relation to that pass when it occurs. Second and seven. Wilson met again by Reddick. Hassan Reddick has come on on fire to start this game. So they're going to try to get outside here, but Reddick just goes right through this play. They have lead blockers. They have a crack back by Waddle on the outside. Actually, probably an illegal crack back there. Nine times in these seven games to take care of it. DeAndre Swift doing that on the beautiful move from the home office of the brotherly show. The flag is thrown as it's a first down. Here's the call as you look at the other side. There are fouls by both teams on the play. Offside, defense number 92, lined up in the neutral zone. Offside, offensive left guard. The penalty is offset. It's fourth down. The left guard is not offside. The hand you're seeing next to the ball belongs to the center. And he can do that. His, his hand can be that. The left guard is not offside. This should have just been defense offside. Long out here playing defense on Swift. Flag is down with a hit on the quarterback after Perry Nickerson had the deflection. Roughing the passer. Defense number 94. Terry, what do you say? <laughs> I, I say he hits him in one step. He actually pulls off with his hands. He doesn't follow through and, and, and blow up the quarterback. This just isn't enough for roughing the passer. Tua replaced Jalen. After 25, Jalen's back on the field in some trouble here. And he'll go down as Jalen Phillips comes up with the sack. And hanging in there with the Eagles halfway through the third. Bring it five underneath the throw is incomplete. Big time play by Apple because they brought pressure. This is just one on one against one of the most dynamic receivers in the league, and he got it done. Probably a little early. To go for it. From the 21, Tua clutches, throws back, incomplete, looking for the flag on Cedric Wilson. The Dolphin bench is enraged that there was no call as Wilson tried to come back to the ball. McDaniel furious on the sideline. Just a quick grab and turn. No flag thrown. The Dolphins complain. The Eagles get the ball at the 21. Clean play. Illegal contact. Defense number 29. Five yard penalty. Automatic first down. And it is JC Jackson, as you pointed out, Charles. Well, he's going to probably be around where Stephon Diggs is. And you see in the outside, 
Once you get past the five-yard mark, you can't have your hands on the receiver. He's got both hands on him, albeit not very aggressively. And Stephon Diggs gets a little bit of a gift on that one. Roughing the passer. Yep. Defense number 13. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. I know this. Josh Allen into Buffalo Repertory Theater. He sold that one well. And that made it a call for the officials. And they're going to err on the side of that call going for quarterback. Gene Steratore is with us. Just watch the play. Gene, you agree? Disagree? You know, I think it's, to me, I think it's a below the head neck area. Cleek Blakeman has a bad angle on the play. And Josh Allen did do a pretty good job of embellishing that contact, fellas. But to me, it looked like a shoulder just below the head neck area. Yeah, and I think that Gene is absolutely correct. Jones sends Gasicki in motion. Play clock is down to one. Man, that was really close. Lunging is Elliott. And it is enough. As Gene Steratore has told us, when the play clock gets down there, if you're an official, you see it hit zero, and then you look up, and then you make sure they snap the ball. In a fine position in the fourth, but now they trail by three. Dump off. Stevenson still going after the catch. Stevenson works the sideline. And on one play, big chunk, but a penalty marker. Back at the 27-yard line. But now they're going the other way. So were they dropping a flag for illegal, someone illegally downfield and then pulling it back up? So let's take a look. Line of scrimmage. About the 25-yard line. Go back, go back again because if I think it's David Andrews in the middle, the center, that that's the one, the player that was in question. How far downfield was he when the ball was released? That's your question. Rams load the line and bring the blitz. Pick it for Johnson incomplete. And the former Steeler Witherspoon got a late flag thrown at the end of the play. You get one on one on the outside. Pass Defense. Number 44. Yeah, I, I'm kind of the same as Akella Witherspoon right there. It, I, it's more Deontay Johnson kind of adjusting to that throw and jumping that way. Sean McVay is asking the side judge, Frank Steratore, about it. Trying to get that back shoulder, right? So you're going to go to the back shoulder. Now it's thrown forward. You know, it's an adjustment by Deontay Johnson to go get that ball flight because it's now forward. It's not on that back shoulder. I, I don't think that there's enough contact there. And the magnitude of the, the position we are in the game to let it be done on a, on a pass interference call. Interference, defense, unsportsmanlike conduct, taunting, offense. Those penalties offset. Replay, third down. That is a massive break and a bad decision by Deontay Johnson. It offsets the penalty, so now you replay it. It essentially negates the Witherspoon penalty. Dean Blandino's with us. A very important sequence there. That's incredible. That taunting penalty, those two fouls combined, and instead of a first down because of the pass defense, now we're going to offset and replay third down, which to me is kind of... I didn't like, I'm like Moose, I didn't like the pass defense, I didn't think there was enough. It's Pickett, the sneak, and he looks to be short initially, but did he get that ball across the line to gain? Kenny Pickett slips. I mean, he slips his knees down right there. He's short. My goodness! Just past the line again. They don't have a timeout. No timeout. So they can't, right. they can't challenge, challenge it. It's a challengeable play. It's a reviewable play because you can always challenge the line to gain or the goal line. But we're not inside of two minutes. If this were inside of two minutes, this would be a booth review. But Sean McVay, because they don't have a timeout, cannot challenge this. And as we this hit the two-minute warning, two warning, Pittsburgh can take three knees and close out this game. You just watch Kenny Pickett's going to slip a little bit with his players, and that knee goes down quickly. And you can see he's short of that line to gain. Yeah. All the things they do within their scheme offensively. Might have gotten away with a false start on Jennings, and he's the one who catches the 
throw from Purdy. Coming down on him. Blitz. He gets rid of it to Akers. Akers has got a first down. Akers has got more than that. Plowing his way inside the five. And a 30-yard catch and run by Cam Akers. Well, this is set up pretty well. Even when you call a screen pass, uh, there goes TJ Hawkinson. This isn't good for the Vikings. Well, I'll say this. We just caught Kevin O'Connell on camera saying, TJ, go down. Buy him some time. There's O'Connell telling Hawkinson to go down. He is down now, and we'll take a break. Money on third downs tonight. Vikings are five for six, and there's nothing there. With pressure from Randy Gregory in his second game. If there was ever such a thing as intentional grounding on a screen pass, this might have been it, John. Yeah, there, what, we, what we term no air. He throws it directly into the turf. I like it as grounding based on how he threw the football. There's no air underneath it to get it in the vicinity of number 30. Carved this defense up. Here he goes, aiming for Addison. A lot of contact, no flag with Charvarius Ward. I thought he was grabbing him the entire way. And Addison's, so much. Addison's injured. Lower right leg, and that's what Addison was grabbing at. This crowd wanted a flag. There was a lot of contact, no flag. Where? Four-man rush looking for Myers again, and the flag is down. Myers didn't turn around till late working against Tyreek Stevenson. Here's the coverage down at the bottom. Pass interference. Defense number 29. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. It's a tough flag against what? Tyreek Stevenson. Holding. Offense number 75. 10-yard penalty at the previous spot. Replay second down. That's his second, Mark. Well, he's got to just let this go. You're going to see him get tangled up right here, and the back is going to make a move to his left, and Tillery does a good job of getting his leverage and then acting it out, <laughs> making sure, showing the flailing arms to catch the attention. Bears fans just saw it on the big screen here and are reacting. That wasn't much. Great rush by the Bears. Second down at 18 after the sack. Hoyer over the middle looking for Devontae Adams. He was well covered. Stevenson was there. Brisker was in the area. Well, there's the pull with the left hand on his right hip. Hoyer thought that pull should have yeah, resulted he was looking in a fly. He was looking for it. Third down and 18, and Homer bobbles it, the ball loose, and Travis Homer dribbling it off the turf, able to control it. They're going to call it a pass. It's a forward oh. pass, and so it's an incomplete pass. Oh, poor Bixen. I, I mean, that's even or backward. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. Looked to me like a toss. Not a pass. Ball start. Offense number 71. Oh, oh, Five yard penalty. Away. Fourth down. And that's on the center. Josh Myers, the center. Let's see if he does an abrupt move. A lot of times, if you do a, they do that all the time. I, I mean, all so, the time. I mean, they I mean do that. you're always you're either looking for I your guard yeah. to give you an indicator or your quarterback. Matt Lafleur is hot about that, and he has reason to be. Fake to Dillon, blocked by Musgrave, he's got him, and it's caught at the same time, Dobbs, Ty goes to the offensive player, it's a touchdown! I, I'm going to have to disagree with the play, and here's why, guys. Look, four hands possess this football while both players are airborne. It is not a catch and finalized until you have possession with two feet down. If you look at this play, when the four players possess the football, the defensive player's feet land before the offensive player's feet land. The ball never disengages from either one. So in my opinion, Sertain possesses the ball with two feet down before the receiver does, and I therefore think it's an interception.
Intentional grounding, offense number 14. That foul is a loss of down, 10 yards from the previous spot. Now look, this play is not a sack, but Kayvon Thibodeau comes free on the right side. And you see him start to get pressure out here on Sam Howell. Sam Howell recognizes right away that he's going to likely get sacked if he doesn't throw this thing away. So he flips it into the space over here. Brian Robinson is not even close. According to the officials, even though that's a little bit and you iffy. see, yeah, you see Ron Rivera. Usually the officials are pretty, pretty lenient with somebody being in the area and you're throwing the ball away. I, I get Ron Rivera's frustration right there. Usually you get some wiggle room if somebody is even close, you know, remotely close to that. Yeah, I think that Sam Howell didn't even see Brian Robinson. He was just throwing it away, knowing that Brian Robinson was going to be there because if he was aware, he should throw that at his feet. Just throw it behind him. An improved Atlanta defense with Baker stepping back and firing and knocked away Mike Evans and that was Terrell cleanly reaching in. Watch him at the top of the route using that stiff arm right here sticks it out which should be OPI but a really nice job and then Baker standing up and trying to deliver looking for the flag. Lawrence, that's caught leaping for it, well short of the first. Now we haven't seen Jordan make many plays. He was frustrated with his hold here by the rookie. Harrison, no call. Goff stands in, delivers incomplete. Looking for St. Brown, he was covered well. Take a look here at safety, Kyle Hamilton. All right, that's illegal contact. So they dodged a bullet here, getting off the field on fourth down. Four man rush, Goff over the middle, St. Brown diving catch from first and 20 to third and three. Yeah, more we look at that, that looks like it could be called incomplete. Yeah, I think I think what they must be looking at, because it doesn't look like they're going to, obviously as you said, under two minutes, it's got to come up from upstairs. The ball can hit the ground as long as it doesn't move. You can see the line well, judge explaining that to Harbaugh. <laughs> Yeah, I think clearly that's why they took the timeout. They wanted them yeah. to look upstairs, but they stay with the call. Back to throw. Pressure coming. Looking, throwing, dumps it off. Beckham! Short of the goal line. But he's got a first down. Connecting with Dean Blandino, our rules expert. Dean, you're with us, and Greg thought this was a penalty for initiating contact with the helmet on Beckham. What, what say you? I agree. Use of helmet, very rarely do you see it called on the offense, but Beckham is going to lower his head. He's going to initiate contact with the helmet. That's a foul. But again, you typically see this called on the defense, but that fits the rule. That to the letter, letter of the law, that's a foul.